So you have a Team Snap Club and League account and you're ready to get it set up and running. Let's get started. When you log into Team Snap, you'll be taken to the My Teams and Leagues dashboard screen. Here you'll see a section called My Leagues, which will list all the club and league organizations that you are a member of at the league or division level. Below that is the My Teams section, which lists all the teams and groups you are a roster member of at the team level. Really quickly, an important point to note while we're here in the dashboard, let's say you want to add a team to your organization and you click on this Create New Team or Group button. That will actually create an independent, standalone team outside of your organization, which is not what you want to do. You would need to get it transferred into your club or league, which is not something you can do on your own, so you would have to contact TeamSnap customer support. It's important to make sure you create your club or league teams within your club or league site. You would use this Add Team button here only if you wanted to create a new team on its own billing plan that is not a part of your club or league in any way. To access your club or league site, you'll click its name in the My League section. The first thing you'll want to do is set up your organization's structure by adding divisions and or teams. You'll want to have this planned out before you start, including what structure will work best during the season, as well as what will work best for archiving when a season ends. Not sure if you need to set up divisions? Well, if your organization is composed of smaller groups with several teams under each group, you will want to set up divisions and or subdivisions before adding your teams. Setting teams up under divisions allows you to easily send messages directed to specific divisions, and if you have administrators in your organization that need to be in charge of individual divisions, you have the ability to grant them administrative status to one or more divisions as divisional commissioners. If you don't have a lot of teams and divisions wouldn't make sense, you don't need to worry about adding any. If you do set your league up with divisions, all of the teams you add down the line will need to be set up under one of those divisions. It's not impossible to restructure leagues, but it is time consuming and can only be done by team snap club and league support and can also result in some of the associated data like emails and standings being broken or lost. Something else to consider is to think ahead to the end of the season and decide if you have any season overlap. If that is the case, a great way to manage that would be to set up your seasons as divisions. That way you can finish out one season and archive that division while allowing the season still in progress to continue running. You can learn more about the archiving process using the link below this video. Okay, so let's get started by adding divisions so we can see how that looks. Once we are done, we will go over adding our subdivisions and then our teams. We will add the divisions in our example league by clicking the Add Divisions button. Your divisions can be for different sports, by region, by gender, or by season, depending upon your organization. Really, any way that you need to group a number of your teams will work. Okay, so here you'll enter your division names. If you have several to add, you can use the Save and Create Another button to continue entering divisions. Click the Save button once you've finished adding divisions, and you'll be returned to your divisions list. At this point, you could start adding teams, but for this example, we're going to add some subdivisions. You just navigate to the division they need to be added under and click the Add Divisions button. Again, you can click the Save and Create Another button to add multiple subdivisions and then click Save when you are finished to be returned to the parent division. Now we are ready to add teams. To do this, you navigate to the lowest level division or subdivision and click the Add Teams button. If you don't have divisions, you click this rather than adding any divisions at the beginning. So we add team names and optionally the team owner information if you have it. If not, you will just enter the team name and skip the owner fields for now. If you add the team owner here, they will be listed as team owner as soon as the team is created and will just need to accept their invitation. If you don't add the team owner here and add them to the roster after the team is created, they will have to accept their invitation so that they are rostered to the team before they can be assigned as team owner. You can choose to send out invitations for team owners to join their teams right away or hold off and send the invitations later. It's usually easier to send invitations all at once when they are all added to the roster, so we'll skip this for now. We are taken to the teams list within the division we created them under, and you can see here that the team owners that had information entered are listed here for their teams. So once you have added all your teams, your organization's structure is set up and you are ready to start adding roster members. 